10-year-old involved in a high-speed motor vehicle crash with airbag deployment. He was an unrestrained front seat passenger, now having neck pain and difficulty breathing. All right, you have your scenario, so let's go ahead and get started. Grab whatever your cheat sheet is, Brazo tape, hand heavy, but just remember, red has to go to the head and then you measure to the heel. So you can see clearly this child falls into the green zone. All right, on to Scott for a quick tip. So when it comes to spinal cord injuries, if you're taking any sort of a trauma test, or more importantly in real life, should you memorize C1, you get this, T2, you get this, L3, you get this, S4, you get this? The answer is absolutely not. Because in real life, you have way too much to remember. So if that's way too much to remember, when it comes to trauma, most importantly, remember nothing else. C3, C4, C5. C3, C4, C5 keeps your diaphragm alive. Meaning, if you're injured at C3, C4, C5, or above, what are you not going to do really well? Breathe. And if you're breathing now, you may not be breathing a couple hours later when all the edema kicks in. But when you're dealing with trauma, but specifically with spinal cords, most importantly, C3, C4, C5 keeps your diaphragm alive.